In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can process your raw images inside Capture One. I'll be showing you how I was able to transform this image from a dull flat look into a dramatic look. First, white balance. Pick the white balance tool and click on any area of the image that's white or you you could dial in your settings yourself so after white balancing on the main image layer you could decide to work in layers or just start with the image layer for the first layer i would create a new field layer name this layer exposure so with the exposure settings, I would increase the light. It's gotten a little too bright, but I'm fine with it because it's within the highlight is not clipping yet. The highlighted area is the part in white, but the skin is still within this range, which is a safe range for skin tones. Next, I would increase the mid tones. I would deepen the mid tones by pulling this this mid level of the levels towards the right to get a dip in skin. This value represents the shadow, this value represents the mid tones and this value re represents the highlights on your levels panel. Ramp up the mid tones and maybe add a little bit of a highlight. You add a little more shadows to lift a bit of the shadows the reason why i'm lifting the shadows after applying this is just to add some three-dimensional effect to the image but not going overboard and making the image look fake i would drop some of the highlights a bit so the next step i'll take well i'm going to show you how i was able to change the hair color from dark from black to this golden color to achieve that i've created a new layer again this time a new empty layer because i want to only apply an effect on the hair i'll name the new adjustment layer pick the brush tool or the draw the brush tool draw mask tool and paint on the hair to make a selection of the hair. My brush at opacity 100% and flow 100% using pen pressure. Auto mask turned off. I would go ahead and paint around the hair. M for mask on the keyboard so that I can see my mask. I would use the magic brush so that it can make the selection for me much easier and quicker. I'll go around to make, go around the areas where I want the selections to apply. And allow the magic brush do the rest. But now, I will just go and paint the areas that the magic brush has skipped. Like some of the mask has been applied to some portions of our background. I'll use the eraser brush to take it out. To change the hair, change the color of the hair, lift the shadows, just so that I can have color in the hair. I would use the eraser, the magic eraser, to just take away the effect from this area. I'm okay with this selection. To make it a little better, I would rather faint it out. Use the regular erase mask. Feather it. 
flow 100% opacity 100% or I will reduce the flow so that I make incremental changes gradual changes and make it softer and just go and clean the edges just to soften the edges so the transition is smooth just as we selected hair in the previous on the previous layer we could have just used the people tool to just come and select only hair and let me show you how that works when you have the hair selected you create hit create mask and then it selects the hair makes it even quicker for you to make a hair selection okay I want to change the color of the hair, create a golden color effect, just like what I had in this one. So come to the shadows, I'll lift the shadows, go to the color balance and adjust the colors in the color balance area. Push the highlights to the warm area, mid-tones warm and also shadows warm. I'll create contrasts by adjusting the levels. This was before and after. Before I proceed, I would darken the image, create a new field layer, adjust the levels, the mid tone area of the levels, Add some, a little, just a little bit of shadow into the image. I'll warm the image a little bit, increasing the Kelvin to 5000. I would adjust the hue of the skin to make it less red, less reddish. I'll darken it reduce saturation go to the red do the same thing and darken it so with that quick global darkening I have reduced the light with a focus on darkening the skin of the model I like what I've been able to transform this image to but I still want to do more on the image just to see what more I can get using the tools inside of Capture One. I will darken her skin and also darken the outfit and also change the color of the outfit, but I would go with a more darker purple color. I'll create a new empty layer. The first empty layer for darkening the skin. To darken just the skin, I need to make a mask around the skin. The draw mask, or the brush tool in Capture One can be used to select a skin area, and paint the entire face, or I could use the magic draw, the magic brush, and select an area, the areas where I want to have an effect, and let the application magically find the areas I'm trying to cover and fill it in for me. So it's not doing a bad job it's, it's okay but it has taken a few extra strokes for me to just get to this point it's not covering everything completely i still need to go in and work on some area i have also accidentally masked masked the lips which was not my intention but what we can do instead to make things easier for us capture one gives us a tool to just punch it once and get it done and that's the subject or the people the subject layer mask it will recognize the subject in your image and then mask it and then the people will select faces and mask based on the face so i'm going to work with the people tool here and we have body skin and face skin selected so that i can focus on body and skin so now to make the skin even darker I'm going to use the people tool and select the body and face and create a new mask 
with this new mask selected i would adjust the mid-tone levels darken her skin to really darken her skin or oh, i'll boost the shadow area by lifting a bit of shadow again just a little bit and now come to the basic section of the color editor pick on the red and darken the red and orange desaturate the image and make it more dense by boosting saturation while we reduce lightness but if i want to make the skin even really black i would use this color editor the basic section of the color editor to desaturate the skin and reduce the lightness on the skin now the whole image looks dark but the outfit the dress is popping is having a different faded tone so i want to adjust that and make it more dense as dense as the skin so i'll create a new layer a new empty layer and make a selection using the brush tool the magic brush i would adjust the purple color magenta and also the red next i would make the background darker to darken the background i'll hit the background layer the background mask and let's capture one use its tools to automatically select the background for me okay. we've had our background selection but to darken the background i would Reduce the exposure, bring down the exposure and use the color balance to change the color of the background. But this time I will just come to the master and select the color that I feel will complement the entire image. And finally, we'll create a light effect at the background. Next, I will create a spotlight effect on the background. So create a new empty layer and draw a spotlight. To create a spotlight, you could use the exposure button to brighten it up. Or first we would invert that mask so that that effect is inverted let me just show you how it works so right now the brightening is affecting around the middle and that's because the mask is around so we're going to invert we will invert this mask by right clicking on the layer and selecting invert I will adjust the feather and the size of the gradient radial mask to get this nice gradual effect the moment you try to draw or erase on a gradient radial mask or any radial any gradient mask in capture one you will get a prompt to rasterize the image i want to take away the effect from the face so i will use the the erase mask and click and then it tells me do you want to rasterize mask I click on rasterize and now I can take away the effect with my flow at 100% and opacity at 100% I'll erase the effect from the face of the model a quick trick to isolating 
this effect from the image is to create a new subject or people layer. I'll create a body and face layer and then our subject is selected. The background spotlight was created by lifting the exposure by 1.12. To take the, uh, that effect away from the face, I will just go on a negative 1.12 and that balances the image. So come to exposure and select ne negative 1.12. We use a brush tool, an eraser tool, and just erase the effect, the negative effect that I've applied to the image. And there's our finished image. We'll be able to transform our photo from this to this. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.